What's going on guys, Jim Galvin back here again dropping another video. Welcome back to the channel or welcome for the first time. If this is the first time here, I'm here at Opex Gatwick, obviously because it says it on the wall. I'm very blessed at the moment in a UK winter lockdown that I have access to this incredible facility but I'm well aware that the majority of you guys watching this now may well not have access to this awesome kit arsenal. There's a lot of stuff going on on YouTube at the moment about how to stay strong, fit and healthy with pretty much no kit. What I want to do is come at it from a slightly different angle. I am aware that actually to maintain some level of strength and if you're anything like me, you will be terrified about losing muscle in these times and losing the games that you got last year. You are going to need some kind of weighted implement and some kind of stress and load going through your system if you are going to stay fairly strong and at least maintain a little bit of musculature. So what I want to do is basically walk you guys through a session where you will only need one dumbbell and one resistance band. I believe that they are the two most versatile and useful, kind of worldwide, universally useful bits of kit. So I've come up with a session with just those two bits of equipment, and that's what we're gonna do now, check this out. One dumbbell, 20 kilos. Weights may vary, but this is a good place to start. One resistance band, green. It does not have to be green. This just happens to be the color of my one. You put these two together, guys, there are a lot of different exercises that you can do where you combine these two things, and trust me, so unbelievably universal. It doesn't take up that much kit, obviously, it's just these two bits. Doesn't take up that much space. I'm looking at the exercises, I'm not texting, thank you very much. I'm a consummate professional. The three components of a good quality training session. I'm laughing because my camera woman's very funny. Three components of a good quality training session, guys. An upper body strength and hypertrophy bit, a lower body strength and hypertrophy bit, and a conditioning bit. And I believe even just with these two bits of kit, you can, if you program it and structure it right, tick all three of those boxes. Right, guys, I've just done my warm up. This is the beginning, the start you want. Stay upright, be proud. Look ahead, here we go. And I'm ready to crack on. So I'm panting already after the warm ups, I'm not as fit as you guys. And what I'm gonna show you now is with the resistance band, there's a set amount of resistance based on length, but one way, one of the reasons I should say that this is so bloody versatile and so helpful and such a great bit of kit overall is because you can change the amount of resistance. You can't really do that with a set dumbbell, but the way that you can do it with the band is physically you change the length. So, set length, as we see here, as simple as tying it in a little knot. Oh! And then, if this is your main workout bit that's now gonna get stretched, it's gonna be stretched more, more tension, more ascending resistance. If you attach it to the dumbbell or use it on its own, so it's basically a way to effectively make it heavier. Super simple. For demo purposes, I'm gonna do it just as it is given. But if anything, either with this or with the dumbbell is too light for you, I advise simply tying a knot in the end. It's an amazing way to make the exercise nice and scalable. And here we go, guys. We start off with a classic that is the goblet squat holding the dumbbell out in front of us. That is something that I see a lot of people kind of make the mistake on when they hold it against their chest. But when you do it this way, one of the benefits is there's a little bit of activation needed from the upper body to actually stay nice and tall, stay nice and strong, keep that chest up. And another one of the variations you can see here, guys, is just wrapping the band around your neck, having your feet on top of the band, and goes with what's called your natural strength curve, which is basically the posh scientific way of saying the closer you get to extension, so basically the closer you get to finishing the movement, standing up at the top where we are naturally strongest, the band offers more and more and more resistance, meaning you are having to contract more and more and more to get through to that top end part of the movement. And doubling it up, as we can see here, a goblet squat with a band, which means we've got that set weight of 20 kilos in the form of the dumbbell, and we've got the resistance from the band as well. Double whammy, this is the perfect combo for this exercise. So, as you see there, all lower body sessions, whether or not you work working with full barbell kit setup, or whether or not we've just got kind of consistent and congruent with this session now, one dumbbell, one band, kind of the focus of this workout. I like to start all my lower body sections with a compound lift, that's why we did the goblet squat there. And then I like to transition into a unilateral movement. So unilateral one side, basically a single leg movement. A couple of different options for this and that's exactly what I'm gonna show you now, check this out. And the first one we see here is a once again banded and dumbbell, so we're putting both of these things together now in the form of a lunge. Dropping down under control, the back knee just about taps the floor, guys. It's just there as a reference point to let us know we've reached appropriate depth 
and then standing up. And the other variation, as you can see here, guys, is basically a back rack position. So you're holding the dumbbell on the back of the neck. There's a little bit less upper body work required. Changes the position of the torso, all much for muchness. They're pretty much basically the same exercise, as you can see, and both equally beneficial. Guys, bear with me. I'm panting and puffing. I'm very unfit, but hopefully I'll be succinct and clear and this will make sense. On that variation, guys, with any kind of lunge variation, we are limited to a certain extent. We are hostage to the range of movement that we can perform. As soon as the back knee touches the ground, effectively we're out of it. So if you guys look into me now, if I drop down, my back knee touches the ground. There's no way that I can really get a more acute, kind of better angle at that working front leg. The only way that you can is either if there's a hole that you're stepping into. She looks at her phone and flips head first into the basement. Or if you elevate that front foot. That's exactly what we're going to show you now. I'm using a weight plate for demo purposes. If you guys got something else, a step, anything can be used. But as long as the front foot, the heel, is down on a platform that is a couple of inches, four, three, four inches plus higher, than the back knee, therefore the front leg goes at a slightly more acute angle, much more of a workout, it's really, really good, check this out. And as you can see guys, that plate literally just offers a couple of extra inches to step that front foot up on, and as you can see, as we drop down, the back knee goes a little bit lower, so there's just slightly more of an acute angle at the knee and the hip, and I suppose the ankle as well, which basically means more range of motion, more muscular activation, more benefit and the back rack step up. So once again, combining both the dumbbell and the resistance band, one of the things that you'll see I'm trying to do here, guys, is lock that back leg out, keep that back leg completely locked to the knee, which means I can't push from the knee. And as you can also see, I'm pulling the toes up in the shoe, which means I can't push down at the ankle as well. So I'm disabling both the knee and the ankle, which basically means all force that I have to generate has to be generated through the front leg to actually allow me to step up onto that box. Still panting, still puffing, still having a great session so far. So we've done a lower body kind of main squat complex, main compound movement. We've done a unilateral exercise, the third piece of the puzzle for any kind of lower body workout should be something that is specifically targeting the hip extension movement. So posterior chain, lower back, glutes, hamstrings. Obviously we're not gonna be dead lifting particularly heavy if we've only got one kettlebell, one kettlebell, one dumbbell and one resistance band, but there are a couple of variations we can do to just specifically hit that chain of muscles and develop that movement. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you now. Check this out. Under the classic kettlebell swing, guys, but all I've done is exchange it with a dumbbell. The grip, I will not lie, is not the best, so maybe chalk up your hands and make sure you've got a nice, strong grip on that dumbbell. And then once you add the band in, once again, it's a little bit more resistance as you get to the top and extend the hips, just making sure that you're contracting a little bit more at that top end. And guys, the way to attach a resistance band to a dumbbell slightly differently is exactly what I'm gonna try and do now. And I say try, because I've never done this before. Completely unrehearsed organic content, check this out. So with the band doubled up, I think if you literally roll it round and we kind of double it up twice, that elicits a little bit of tension on the handle of the dumbbell, which means grabbing kind of the thick end as we would, and now either side, Effectively, you've got two little ideal spots to place your feet. Look at that. Flipping it, boys and girls of YouTube. Here's one I made earlier. Not gonna lie, guys, I'm actually pretty chuffed with this. Uh, as you can see, guys, what I've done is I've just wrapped the band around the dumbbell a couple of times, making sure there's a lot more resistance from the band at the top of the movement. Normally, with a classic kettlebell swing, it can kind of just disappear into dead space momentum's kept it going and everything in the glutes and the posterior chain can switch off, making sure it's band resisted, like the movement that you're seeing here, guys, that cannot happen. So as soon as your hips are extended, the kettlebell, or dumbbell in this case, flies up, what the resistance of the band then does is catch it and throw it straight back down. Again, more activation, again, more benefit. So that is the lower body portion done. We have a squat complex, or main kind of compound movement, unilateral exercise, and hip extension, exactly what hopefully we're all doing to stay strong and healthy, low body wise in a gym on a good day. And luckily, if you're creative enough, you can kind of replicate that same effect and those same movement patterns if you are using just a dumbbell and a resistance band. So now we are moving on to upper body, exactly the same as I normally would in my strength workouts anyway. 
I'm gonna go for a heavy push, a heavy pull, and then some accessory stuff. Check this out. Huge fan of vertical pushing at the moment, guys. Horizontal pushes like bench press and press ups get a lot of attention. But obviously this is an amazing way to offer a little bit of an alternative. And assuming that the dumbbell that you're using is gonna be heavy enough for one arm, Again, a couple of sets of about eight reps each side, making sure the core has to work, staying nice and stable to keep you guys upright. This is a little bit of an imbalanced exercise or a little bit of an imbalanced position, I should say. But again, the benefit of doing something like that in a half kneeling position that isn't particularly stable is everything down the core and the muscles of the spine and that midline actually have to work to keep you nice and tall and nice and straight and nice and stable. Using the band and the dumbbell together again, what we are gonna do, wrap it round, one foot in basically both parts of the band. And then what we do, slight split stance as you see here guys, make sure you're in a nice strong hinge position with the lower back nice and flat, and then with the shoulder blade staying the same distance from the ground or the same height kind of the same time, pulling the thumb up towards the ribs. And again, as you can see, there's a little bit of slack on the band at the bottom, but the band gets tighter the closer it gets, with the closer your thumb gets up towards your ribs more activation, working with the strength curve, more benefit. So that is our main push exercise done, that is our main pull exercise done. And now what we are onto is a little bit of accessory work. Basically this means, as you can start to see here, targeting the rear scaps, targeting some of the more isolated muscle groups with some isolated exercises, just to add a little bit of a burn in there, a little bit of functional bodybuilding and muscle building effect and there's a couple of different exercises that you can use. Again, we are moving on to front raise now with either the band or the dumbbell, or both, if you're feeling up to it, that would be nice and strong, but make sure the chest stays up and you do not arch your back too much in this position. Some kind of bicep curl variation. Guys, there's nothing wrong with wanting to fill out your t-shirt, I'm telling you. So again, this is a nice little inclusion of some functional bodybuilding, either some strict single arm hammer curls or if you're not quite feeling up to that, depending on how heavy your dumbbell might be, grabbing it with both hands is also another option. Just as we see here, it doesn't really matter what the variation is, as long as you stay nice and strict and those elbows stay locked in to the side of the body, so it is only the bicep that is working to create this movement. Triceps, both feet in the band, and effectively what you are doing is just keeping your elbows as high as you can, and again, the upper arm wants to stay in pretty much exactly the same position. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing with the band, until the arm is completely locked at the elbow. Only the tricep should be working if you complete this properly. Lower body section done, upper body section done. Now what we are gonna do, or the way at least I like to finish my sessions, with a little bit of a conditioning medley, and again, without taking up too much space, and with using just these two bits of equipment, I'm now gonna show you a couple of different conditioning exercises just to work the heart and lungs a little bit. It's a great way to finish off a great session. And onto the spicy stuff. A little bit of a conditioning finisher. Still using the dumbbell, still using the band if you want. Obviously we've got a couple of different things here. I've got a single arm clean to press. I've got a single arm thruster. The thrusters especially can be done double armed if that's what you feel. Basically a little squat to overhead as we, as we see here. All of this depends on how many reps you're doing, the level of volume, if we're doing it based on time under tension, the weight of the dumbbell. There are a lot of different variables. As always guys, make sure you just select the one that you are gonna enjoy the most. High plank dumbbell transfer is the next one, as you see here, making sure both hips stay the same distance from the ground the whole time. And we're moving into a high plank single arm row, again, nice and controlled, and the body's gonna move a little bit. Your objective with this is to move the body as little as possible. Single arm dumbbell snatches, made famous by CrossFit in the functional fitness movement, an amazing way to work your posterior chain, generate a bit of power, a bit of power endurance, bit of stability, just an all round killer, and that is why we love it. Boys and girls, we only went and bloody did it, good work, an entire session, lower body, upper body, and finishing with a little bit of conditioning work with nothing but the use of one single dumbbell and one single resistance band, absolutely smashed it. Hope you did get some value and enjoy this video. Make sure you do smash that like button. Any suggestions of anything you would like to see from me in the future, please do put down in the comment section below. And if you have not yet done so, I am watching. Make sure you subscribe now. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye for now.